Hey everyone, my name is Silver, and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> and today, guys, it's finally happened. It is Sunday. Unfortunately, this is the latest video I'm posting, so you guys are getting this right away. I just uploaded my episode review about an hour ago. I've had dinner. I'm at a full belly. More or less. Not really full, but actually, yeah, my belly hurts a little bit. I've been eating a lot less, so besides the point. We're here to talk about this card today. Zeroth Dragon of Zenith Peak Ultima. And it's unofficial skill release. So it was in last night's episode of Cardfight Vanguard G. Z. And we get to see what its true capability is. And by far, I think this is the most powerful to a degree G unit. So I would quickly want to state that all G units are unique in their own right. With that being said, I do still believe that this is one of the strongest Xeroth Dragons there is. The only Xeroth Dragon that I will openly say that beats this card outright is Stark. And that's just because it attacks three times and doesn't rest. Now that I have the official skill, I think Stark is by far the best, or one of the best Xeroth Dragons, and it's tied with this one. But I like this one better. It also, I used more clans from this Sanctuary. So it's the United Sanctuary Xeroth Dragon. And it, it's coming out in set 14. And guys, if you haven't seen its skill, I would go check out last night's episode because this card is powerful. So it has the ultimate stride skill, but it has Counter Blast 2. When this is placed on van, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for four cards. Call two of them to separate rears. Shuffle your deck. Put the rest on top of your deck in any order until end of turn. This unit gets auto. When one of your units gets a trigger effect, all of your other units get the same effect. Why is this important? Well, um, thus far, every draw, critical, and sting means it, it happens all across the board for every unit. Actually, this thing's more broken. Okay. So that's its skill. And to our knowledge, it affects critical stands and draws according to the anime. I'm going to go back and see if it says anything about heal. But I remember it saying draw. If every unit on your field gets the draw trigger, I think that means it, it draws for each and every unit. And if that's the case, that means, oh my god. That technically means the heal should work like that. Now, this is just using what we have from the anime. But, if that's the case, then heal triggers means you get to heal every card in one go you get to heal because because if it works like that based off of wording you get six heals i mean that can cripple some decks but this is powerful i mean this isn't gonna be a very long video and it shouldn't be expected to be one um but i wanted to give my honest thoughts about this card and i honestly think it's by far probably the best unit best Xeroth Dragon, and that's just my personal thoughts. But I know Black Moon did a video earlier this evening talking about this, and I'm going to make sure it pauses. I just wanted to check. Um, but yeah, no, th this is good. So it, it, my theory was correct. You can stack which is good and then it utilizes trigger effects which is just beautiful I like I honestly thought this card was gonna be something a bit different either for me I thought it was gonna be some sort of like sweeping retire with its massive sword but honestly I think this card perfectly in capital and encloses every single clan in its nation most beautifully and mo and is the most elegant out of all of them but overall, I think this card is pretty good. I mean, I want to know what you guys think, but I wanted to sort of share its skill, keep it short and sweet. Black Moon did a little bit longer video, about seven minutes on this. Mine's going to be about five. But um, no, honestly, guys, this card actually, I, I want to wait until the official release before I do a full review of how powerful I think this card is. But this potentially has the power to be the most powerful G unit. Like I said, I'm going to go check the actual video when the Xeroth Dragon comes into play. But 
this card is good. I like it. And I, I just couldn't wait to record this video until tomorrow afternoon. I wanted to record it right away because I've been waiting for this card. I This is my favorite Xeroth Dragon, hands down. This is a Xeroth Dragon I'm going to be pursuing for a while. But with that being said, I'm going to end it off here and get ready to cover more videos like Drag, Dragfall, Luard, and stuff like that in the next video. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf. I'll see you all later. Peace.